Hello, welcome to Simply Linux. Today we're going to look at BB Switch. Now, BB Switch is for those with the Optimus uh, video where uh, you have two GPUs. You have the Intel one, which does all the live stuff, and then it could switch to the NVIDIA for heavier tasks like gaming, etc. And there is a Linux implementation of it, and I was asked to do this video a while ago, and I had actually forgot. And uh, it just came to me, and I thought, okay, we'll have a go at this. Now, I do not have Optimus hardware at all. I wish I did, but I would say I'll go through the process if I could. So what we need first is to load up Mr. Snatic, the package manager. Uh, Okay, and uh, I am up to date, I know that, because it, I have updates in the background happening, so when I open this, it's in me. So, uh, look, what we do now is look for BB Switch, and as you can see, we've got the DKMS file, and uh, BB Switch is a kernel module, which automatically checks the required ACPI calls for two kinds of Optimus laptops, real, the NVIDIA, EG. And as you see, Optimus laptops, universal calls should work for every laptop model supporting Optimus calls. So I'll install that. Which also installs DKMS and DKMS minimal. As I don't have any DKMS um, blobs needing to install on this laptop. Okay, um, I'm gonna search for any video just for a minute. Uh, Bumblebee, and that is the support for thingy. There's the other one. So I will also install that, and of course it's going to install the Nvidia current and DKMS and so on. So I'll allow it to do that. I haven't even got anything installed or anything like that on this machine. So we'll we'll apply those. This may be a shorter video because it's obvious that I'm not going to be able to show you much more than this. So anyway, I will be back in about 5 minutes, or in your case about 2 seconds. I will be back. <clears throat> Just installing the uh, kernel modules here for the uh, larger cards, which is all good. And after that's done, hopefully, um, let's see if anything comes up in the menus. And if so, let's see if there's anything I can do with them without having an NVIDIA card. I'm just hoping that I will. Yep, sorry about that. Um, I was looking at something while this was building, and I was but I got always recording at the same time, which is joyful. This is always an exciting part. <clears throat> uh, maybe I should have got a coffee before starting this, huh? <laughs> Anyhow. I hope your Thursdays has been good. Mine's not been bad. And 
Let's install new decay is the BB switch. Which is quite a new version according to the uh, date code there. Version 0 0.8. And this is the third one put out in 2019. So obviously the first two didn't go as well. And so, uh, yeah, let's continue on. And we have it in. Let's see if we actually managed to do it. It's a breakfast tree. I'm on a brand new kernel, so I'm hoping I can break anything. Anyway. Let's see if we have Bumblebee installed. So I'm going to have to go through the more applications and config and all that business. Just to write the menu up. I'm an open box after all. Okay, I don't see anything. I'm probably there. Config. And I don't see anything there either. I'm sure where I will find it. I am from sudo. I have that installed because of Steam. Um, yeah, I'm not having much joy, am I? Covering preferences. Okay, let's have a look, Mr. Terminal. Aha, Bumblebee D, would that be the one? No, just great. Okay, so yeah, basically you'd have to run Bumblebee D, which would then run. Now, is it in Graphics Services? No, I just started it from. Yeah, Bumblebee D. There, you can have it on boot, start, stop. So, from what I can make out, then, if this is the case, and I'm hoping I am right. As I said, I've got no hardware to try it on. You install Bumblebee and you install the DKMS file. And then you can go into DraftX services, which incidentally, I should show you actually, is in the uh, Peace Loss Control Center. <coughs> I'll just close the background services for a minute. If you go to System, uh, you have Manage Systems, and it gives you the same list. I just bypassed it using the DRAGX there. So that's all good. So all you have to do is tick on boot and click start. And of course it will, won't start because I have no hardware involved with this. Anyway, that's roughly how we can sort out. I'm just having a look here to see what I actually do have in the background. I do have one running, it's for virtual DJ and Zantalk and stuff. Zantalk is just an experiment to see if we could get it on Linux. It does and it doesn't. So that's all good. Okay, I will see you all soon. Take care, be well, and uh, yeah, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, thumbs up. If not, thumbs down. Uh, you can get to me on Patreon and all that kind of business. Have a fun Thursday evening. Cheerio.